Why can't you find love? How long have you really been single? Really? Having trouble finding that special soulmate? I can solve this one. Secrets of Birthdays, now live for purchase. Your love trouble? Over. All that and more at secretsofbirthdays.com. Scorpio, welcome back to Soul Horoscopes Weekly Edition. I'm your host, Christopher Witecki. And Valentine's Day is around the corner. You probably know that in just about seven or eight days, depending on when you tune in finally. We have a Secrets of Birthday sale going to help you out along your way right now. If you buy a video love and lust report, we'll give you a free one for absolutely no charge. That's what free means. That's why I just did that redundant statement. Either way, you can do this on a girlfriend, you can do it on a boyfriend, you can do it on a love interest, someone that you are stalking. It doesn't matter. All we need is a date of birth, Scorpio. And this sale will go away after Valentine's Day. Now, one more thing I want to promise you. You've got friends. Yes, you do. It's soulgarden.me. We've got a whole community of wacky people just like yourself where we can talk tarot and, and pretend to be uh, normal. <laughs> you should come on down. We've also got a den. We've got writers that are walking and bringing secrets out all the time. So come on down. Enjoy our new pad. We're going to make this the soul capital of, uh, well, really of karma clearing and maybe enlightenment. Soul capital of enlightenment. That's how I like to call it. Now, where are the scorpions? Well, they're cleaning house this month. This month, you're working on your self-nurturing emotional state of awareness. Now, remember, there are 12 states of awareness that make up what we call reality. One of them is very popular, emotions, right? Also known as the moon sign in a person's natal chart. Now, emotions has a lot more uh, to it than just how you feel. The emotional state of awareness comes with a lot of awareness. You're not just aware of how you feel, but there's an awareness that comes along with how you nurture that feeling, how you massage that feeling into the feeling that you want. There's a lot of conditions of life that go into self-nurturing of emotion, such as your home and your family situation. That also means all the baggage we carry from our own childhood is part of this. And up until this point with the Sun in Aquarius, you've been clearing what doesn't work when it comes to self-nurturing consciousness. Do you talk nice to yourself? Do you eat first or last? Do you nurture yourself? Do you ever nurture yourself? Are you getting sleep? Is your home family foundation actually serving you? That has been now. As we start off on Monday, it's time to get right to business and make some decisions. Saturn rules the day on Monday, and that means it's time for Scorpions to decide what will not work when it comes to home family foundation and self-nurturing consciousness. So this apartment won't work. I can't deal with this roommate. I must talk nice to myself. I must take a day off when I'm overrun. Right? Those are all the things that won't work. And a general pointing to what you think might work. I do believe that if I get silk sheets, I'll feel better. Right? Make these decisions and make them on Monday. Now, the moon uh, is in the opposite sign of Leo at this time. So your emotions are pulling you at work. Be aware of that. Your emotions are pulling you into work. And so you're emotionally maybe concerned about work, but needing to take care of yourself. Ah, that's part of the transit. Let's go to Tuesday. Tuesday is the real blasted day. Why? We got a full moon. A full moon is a tug of war between our general awareness, GA, down to our emotions. Our emotions are big, big, big. This means you're going to be very passionate about your career and your legacy. And if you're a stay-at-home mother or father, you're going to be very passionate about those kids you're raising. Very passionate about the way things should be going. Well, says the universe, if things are going the way you want, that might be because you're not taking care of yourself down here in the home family foundation sector. So the full moon is a big tug of war between wanting what you want out of life and realizing that you're going to have to make maybe some changes or new investments here at home. All right. Now, uh, this is going to be an intense day. At the same time, Saturn goes retrograde up there in Libra. So as you are having this expansion and letting go 
right, of old family home uh, foundation attitudes like, okay, I guess I will eat, I guess I will sleep, letting go of uh, whatever your old conscience is, you are getting a break on karma. That's what the Saturn retrograde is. The karma chain is going to stop. So interesting that the karma train stops right when the Scorpios take responsibility for self-nurturing. I'm just pointing out an interesting pattern. Now for those of you who are watched over by me in the Guardian Agency, I will send out a personal text on Wednesday just to explain it on video because they can't shoot another one. Uh, I'll be talking about in the text your natal moon, so how you're built emotionally, personally, and then how that's comparing to this month's full moon today. And so you kind of have that comparison because everyone adds a little flavor to it. Also, regarding Saturn retrograde, uh, your Act 1 video, if you purchase that, we'll get deep on this. This retrograde of going back on the karma is a major turning point to Act 1. So make sure you go back and watch Act 1 at this time for those who've watched it. For those who haven't, it's at soulmart.me. Now, moving on to Wednesday, God wastes no time. Boom! Grand trine. That means instant manifestation based on what we've already learned. The moon is going to shift into Virgo. That's what actually triggers it. So your emotions go from career success to public opinion. All right. So from career success to public opinion, you are socially sensitive during this time. And this is really the apex of the grand trine. It'll be your feelings around your place in the world that cause the grand trine to shift. A grand trine is where we shift three states of awareness at the same time. It's a coordinated, coordinated step to the left or a step to the right, triggered by emotions. Like I said, emotions about who you are in the world and what you do in the world. What gets pulled along with this transit is your idea of what relationships can be expands. This is the transit that's pushing your marriages and your partnerships to expand. So by feeling a little different in the world, it allows your relationships to move forward. And Pluto says it allows old thinking patterns to die. All right, so your old way of thinking goes. So it's a very popular and passionate day on this given day. And according to the Sun in Aquarius, what you're doing, you're manifesting. So by allowing yourself to shift the way you see yourself in the world, you move marriage forward and you manifest a new foundation for your home family uh, this year. How's that sound? Bravo. Now, moving on to Thursday, right after we draw space and, and create, well, boom, we move into chapter three, where emotions rule. And where are the emotions? Well, they're deep into Virgo. So you're very passionate about whatever your role in society is, but the moon will cross over Mars. Now, Mars is retrograde. You had a lot of energy to go out there and campaign, but you're not feeling it as of now. What that means is, uh, as the moon crosses, you might feel deflated. Joe Biden is a Scorpio, so if he's out campaigning, he might feel deflated on this day because suddenly uh, not feeling good. Now, if you're in GA, we'll text you so you keep your mind on the right place, but it's all about passion and really it's about getting your emotions behind what needs to happen with self-nurturing, getting your emotions behind uh, cleaning the house, getting your emotions behind setting yourself up, getting yourself passionate behind what you want. If you want to be where you want to be in society, says Mars, then get your emotions behind taking care of you. That's how I interpret that. On Friday, things do perk up. The sun will be ruled by Jupiter, so things will start to perk up. Things will feel possible. Things will feel lighter at home. And the moon will be off that yucky Mars and moving into Libra. Now, although you're feeling stronger, emotions are now going subconscious. This is going to be a karmic weekend for the Scorpios. I don't think you're going to feel bad because why? Saturn's retrograde. God's turned off the karma. Yay, we get a little break. So I don't think we're going to have any tragedies, but I do think you might be processing the old uh, ways and that sort of thing. And if you need a little cheering up, don't forget, Friday is our new live date for SG Live. We have a live webcam radio show. That is me and Carolyn Nagel, my co-host. goes live at 11 a.m. Pacific. That is 2 p.m. Eastern Time and 7 p.m. Europe. Ah, I'm getting good at this. All right. So come on down. Check us out. It's a talk show. We, we talk real. I say things you can't even believe. It's incredible. Then on Saturday... Kind of a little bit of stormy weather on Saturday. Uranus rules the day. So you might have something break down at home. You might have an opportunity to open up at home. But it's kind of a stormy day. Uranus is coming in and poking and pulling the rug out from under us. That is maybe with uh, your self-nurturing and whatnot. So be careful on Saturn day. The moon is well in the Libra, so you're tr triggered by karma. You're triggered by the past. Could not go in the best way. And what's interesting uh, about this is... Uranus rolls a day, and then Venus conjuncts Uranus on that day. Now, Venus Uranus here says it is time for Scorpios to innovate the way they receive in the moment. I'll repeat, Daniel Sun. It is time for Scorpios to innovate the way they receive in the moment. So you may be whining and crying with the moon and Libra about how no one takes care of you and blah dee blah blah, but maybe you are refusing a stranger to open the door for you at a restaurant. No, 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 I've got it. 
Now that may be a small piece of behavior, but what that shows is that you are unwilling to receive. If you won't let a stranger open a door for you, you won't let your husband love you either. Just say it. But it's an interesting day. Don't go down the poor me path. And if you're in GA, we'll be texting you and holding you up. Sunday, things get much more calm because Mercury rules the day. Whatever it was about, now you're going to be thinking about it. Venus is one degree after Uranus, so that's not so intense. But the moon is still in Libra and will cross Saturn that night. So emotionally, it's still about the past and whatnot. If you want good news, the following day is going to be the moon in Scorpio and you'll feel a lot better. There, I told you the happy ending already. You're fine. All right, Scorpio, that's all I got for this amazing week. I'll either be texting you within the next couple of hours or I'll be seeing you in seven days. But either way, keep it together and live, love, be.